80 miles an hour down a dirt road. That looks good. The hydraulics are pressurized to 3,500 pounds per square inch. That's the same pressure you get 8,000 feet down in the ocean. The system is about to take even more strain. It's timber time. Each tree trunk adds around three tons of load. That's the equivalent of over 30 grown men. The full load weighs more than 300 adults, all standing on two welded pivots. It's a little scarier than I remember. The load is heavy on Gadget's mind. I am so nervous about to pee my pants. There is so much wood up there and the hydraulics look so puny and everything we've done looks so puny. It's really nerve wracking. I mean, the numbers show that it should hold, it should be fine, but taking a look at it makes me nervous. The only way to settle those nerves is a little pretest to see if the pistons really have the muscle to bench press 60,000 pounds. Those four little hydraulics actually should push about 140,000 pounds. They should move this thing with no effort at all, but that's a lot of weight to accelerate and it's all leaning on it right now. I just hope nothing breaks. All right, here we go. Trigger whenever you're ready, Deanne. I'm on my mark. Gadget arms the system and it's ready to tilt. Guys, that was beautiful. It was beautiful. That was the first time our systems have united. What? Yes. Yeah. And it didn't fall over. It didn't fall it over. It didn't fall over. This is the world's first banking log truck. <laughs> Before the final test, the team has one more job. Nitrogen helps power the system, but this tank's empty, so they're going to swap it for a new one. No easy task with 30 tons over your head. With mine tightening these up, they've settled a bit. Everything is running smooth as the new nitro tank goes in. Got it. Ready? One, two, three, lift. Okay. Back. Then suddenly. Clear, clear. All hell breaks loose. Stay clear. Without warning, the load shifts, nearly squashing Nathaniel, Chuck, and Gadget flatter than pancakes. I'm at a loss for words. I have no idea what happened. The There's nothing broken. There's no fluid on the ground. The system's still fully charged. It moved. The only thing I can figure is that Possibly both valves failed at the same time and the fluid was able to flow from one side to the other, but it doesn't make sense. The Smash Lab team has rolled a log truck. And now they've got to try and stop that from happening. Oh my goodness! <laughs> but this is the first time they've gone straight from initial concept to final build. Son of a gun, that went that easy? prototype is about to undergo the toughest test possible on a rough road with 60,000 pounds of logs. To make matters worse, the system just malfunctioned. Watch out! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Why did it go? So do you think we triggered one of those switches? What there was must it? be some sort of pressure overload in those valves. God, yeah, it's got a pressure relief. Pressure overloaded the control valves, so but everything still seems to work. It won't we got, we got yeah. well, we're going to try to get this thing to the top of the hill and run the test. We're worried about it triggering again, so we're going to wedge a bunch of wood underneath there to try to prevent that from happening, but uh, it's all kind of iffy right now. Do you want help? Uh, I got it. The team is nervous, but their lives won't be in danger. It's the stuntman's call if he drives the tilting truck. So whether or not he's willing to drive it at that state. I mean, the run-up area is actually not that dangerous. There aren't any trees that are going to be, that are going to stop this truck. Right. So the only risk is that he goes off course and he rolls over, which is what he's prepared to do anyway. Right. It comes down to his call, I guess, whether he's willing to do it, but... Let's talk to him. 
I guess let's just talk to the stuntman. While Chuck talks to the stuntman, Gadget and Nathaniel step back under the trailer that nearly crushed them. Crazy, but they're making last minute fixes to beef up the system. Go ahead and connect that. You know what, I'll, I'll connect it to the same one. All you have to do it once. This one. Hey guys, so the stunt guy's willing to do it. The test is on. Let me know when you're ready, Deanne. So I'm ready. Should okay, ready? Yeah. let's clear everybody out. Gadget, are you armed? Yep. Okay, set. All right, let's get to the bottom. This is it! Better work, it better work. Oh, come on! <sighs> I'm nervous. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Disappointed. The system wouldn't tilt, so the truck couldn't take the curve. It's a terrible blow. Bell never went off. Never yeah. triggered. Uh. Uh. Yeah, the wreck hides clues to the failure. Careful, these logs still may be unstable. <laughs> I still don't know if we actually fired when it went over. We had one data run to go off of to set our thresholds. And it's just not enough. I mean, there's some incredible loads that go on when these things are going down the road. And uh, without enough testing, we just don't know. Obviously, on that one run, we overpowered our system and it just flopped over. Two things might have gone wrong. The hydraulics didn't have enough juice, or the trigger failed. The alarm bell didn't go off, so the trigger is the prime suspect. In the quest to keep a log truck on the road, the team tried three ideas, and none of them worked. But they're already coming up with the next crazy plan. I do it all over again. I put a vacuum skirt on it. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? And then clean this mess up. <laughs> you think? No, I think a big, huge gyroscope <laughs> right about here, maybe eight feet wide, four tons spinning at 30,000 RPM, that would have done the trick. They've learned one thing. If you see a logging truck heading toward you, get out of the way. Well, it was a spectacular crash. We all built some pretty cool stuff. It just didn't come together with that one final bit. <laughs> yep. Gotta turn that frown upside down. <laughs> <laughs>